Good morning, my loves. Hope you're doing well. Celery put himself in this blanket without any human help. He is right there sleeping. He likes to burrow. I'm actually in the Berkeley Hills right now about to start the ceremony, but I spent all day today editing, getting my work done so that I don't have to worry or focus on doing plant work specifically in the next maybe 48 hours, just so I can give myself all the time I need to process what is about to go down. Um, so I thought I would spend the bulk of today's vlog discussing what it's been like for me to be off cannabis. Any weed, I mean, I don't drink alcohol, haven't drinking it for how old am I? 25? Like six years now. But no cannabis for the last five days in preparation for this ceremony. I use cannabis quite frequently. I uh, haven't taken five consecutive days off that plant medicine in many, many months. And honestly, I feel no different. <laughs> I haven't wanted to um, intake cannabis in any form in the last five days. I haven't felt depressed. Uh, in fact, I've really enjoyed the purely focused clear mind. You know, I use cannabis to reduce my anxiety, to put myself in the present moment. I use cannabis as medicine to reduce anxiety, to be a little bit more in the present moment. But of course, there's other medicinal side effects to cannabis like being a little chill, wanting to rest or just, you know, be present. And honestly, being off of it in the last five days, uh, it's not that I've been more productive, I'm extremely productive in my life. I'm a daily vlogger, I bike all around the world when I am in taking cannabis, and when I'm not, I'm the same exact person. So really, cannabis, just like anything, is a tool. For some people, it's gonna, it's gonna be medicine, and it can be a positive thing, and it won't really have any negative side effects. And for other people, it will be different. For me, clearly, after using it for pretty consistently for many, many months, and then boom, going right off of it spontaneously, I can say it is not an addiction. It does not have addictive, qual addictive qualities for me because I haven't wanted to do it. I haven't noticed life being any different. I'm still so blissed out and grateful to be alive as you've seen in the last few vlogs. It's just a tool. Um, it's just not a big deal. And it, it is good though because I've been using it so consistently to take that time off and to know for myself that it is not a problem. So I advise when you take any medicine, whether it's an antibiotic or cold medicine or cannabis, something more natural, there should be times on and times off so that you can recalibrate just to your base form and so that the medicine can be more potent. I bet when I use cannabis again in the next whenever it's going to be a couple days, it's probably going to be super potent and powerful and that'll be beautiful and I will uh, share that because I've taken some time off. So, you know, I vape most of the time. My lungs don't feel any healthier or better. I, I, there's just no difference. I'm going to be totally real. I notice absolutely nothing. <laughs> Uh, being off of it. The reason I took a break from it is to ground my body to a base level so there's no stimulation so that the medicine I'm about to take is very potent uh, and I can get the most out of the experience. That is why. So did I actually stop smoking pot like for a reason like I had to stop or I want to just get it out of my life? No. I did it because this opportunity was presented and it was good to take a break but I'll probably go back to using it because it does help me. It is a medicine for me. And you guys have seen me over the last many, many months. Most of those vlogs and editing time, I've been using cannabis. I'm very productive. It does not have a negative impact in my life. I've been working all day. And it's so worth it. So I don't have to worry about anything for the next 24 hours so I can process the medicine journey that I'm about to go on. Time to have my final meal before attending the ceremony. Here's an update.
we're all packed up. The bike trip continues, my friend. Tonight at the ceremony, I sleep there, and then tomorrow we head to San Jose on our way to Los Angeles. It's wild how I've taken the last like 12 or something days off. I kind of forget that I'm still living on my bicycle on a journey. And I'm so excited to get back into the road life. It's gonna be beautiful. We're hitting up some amazing spots. San Jose, Santa Cruz, Monterey, San Luis Obispo over the next few days. It's just all bliss. Uh, today's vlog was of course different than usual because today is a different type of day. I'm about to go experience something that I have, I have no expectations. I realize, I don't know what's about to happen, but of course I will share everything with you tomorrow. I'm so blessed for the people in my life who support me, for you, to you for supporting me, and for the people who invite me to expand my consciousness and destroy my ego. If I had to say, if I had one intention for what the medicine and the mother could deliver me today, well, first off, I'm just open to anything. Whatever teachings and wisdom it has, thank you. That's what I want. But if I had any expectation, it is to take the largest beating I possibly can to my ego so that I can have a little bit more liberation and peace. Much love, Dream Extreme. See you tomorrow.